The Lansdowne project here at Hagley Road was a fantastic opportunity for FP McCann to work alongside BDG Architects and main contractor Interserb to develop a full precast solution for this private residential scheme here in the centre of Birmingham. The Lansdowne scheme is a £26 million project and a joint venture between Long Harbour and Seven Capital. The 206 apartments are formed with 396 precast concrete cross walls and 361 brick face sandwich panels, all produced at our Biley factory near Middlewich. Installation is clever but simple. To satisfy approved document A of the building regulations, the sandwich panel wall and internal solid walls have continuous vertical ties. All floors are horizontally tied to their supports. The units are then fully grouted to provide a three-dimensional tied structure. There was also a large number of holocore precast planks produced from our Western Underwood factory, which is situated near Derby. These units are the base for flooring on each level and lifted onto their final bearing directly from the delivery vehicles. These units do not require any temporary propping and once grouted, they act as a diaphragm which transfers the lateral forces to the cross walls which subsequently transfers these forces down to the foundations to achieve stability. Our constructions work started on site on the 8th of May 2017 and the last units were installed on the 12th of March 2018. A period of only 43 weeks using one single tower crane and a gang of 10 men on site. The challenges on this site are the city centre location here in Birmingham on Hagley Road at a busy intersection. A precast solution was ideal for a just-in-time delivery. Precast units fully finished at our facilities can be lifted directly from the delivery vehicle and into final position on site with minimal disruption to the local community. We've eliminated the needs for having to have large amounts of space. A complication with this particular type of project, having a very, very small footprint, would have meant, had it been made through any other process, we would have had to have had um, large amounts of concrete wagons coming in, which would have obviously affected the amount of traffic that comes into Birmingham City Centre, the amount of traffic that we would have had to have dealt with on site, which has its own health and safety complications. The precast solution is also a very quiet form of construction. As compared with traditional in-situ concrete, which requires vibration on site, the precast is fully formed and fully cured before it leaves our factory. So initially, this scheme on paper was just like any other scheme you see going up in Birmingham today, an in situ concrete slip form construction with cladding. Very early on, we identified with our key suppliers that there was an opportunity to deliver a cutting edge construction technique, such as the one we've got here, the precast solution. External access was only required by FP McCann to do the final mastic works between the panel joints on the exterior of the building. All the precast brick face units were fully mortar pointed at our factory and delivered to site ready for incorporation into the building. This meant the site didn't have to be completely scaffolded and mass climbers were employed purely for installation of the windows. The Lansdowne scheme has a striking architectural feature by the use of corbel brickwork running the full height of the building. We also utilise special cut and bonded angled bricks to create the splayed reveals within the panels towards the windows. One of the major benefits of off-site construction is that all of the units can be inspected and QA checked by the client prior to delivery and installation on the site. So the precast process at Lansdowne has been brilliant. I've been up to Bailey myself. I think there are about 10 people that are working on our panels. They fabricate them, they go through the QA process, they then get cured, and then at the appropriate time they get delivered to site. The relationship with Interserve was excellent on this project and there was a great working relationship which resulted in the project being delivered to programme and to the highest quality.